one battle of the sexes. So this workout has four three-minute AMRAPs. Each one of those AMRAPs, you can divide the reps however you want as a team. It doesn't matter if one person does all the reps and the other person just sits there for three minutes. Entirely up to you guys as a team. Um, there's going to be a 30 second transition time in between each AMRAP. So three minutes on, 30 seconds off. During those 30 seconds, it is up to you as a team to change your weights before part two, three, or four starts. So go on to the uh, written workout description, see the weights that you have to do because they're different for each division, for each gender. So the first three minute AMRAP is deadlifts and box jumps. Deadlifts are going four, six, eight, ten, up by twos every round. Box jumps are going two, three, four, five, up by one every round. After the deadlifts and the box jumps, 30 second transition, three minute AMRAP of snatches. After that, 30 second transition, three minute AMRAP of clean and jerks. After that, three minute, 30 second transition, and then a three minute AMRAP of thrusters and bar over burpees. The thrusters are gonna go up just like the deadlifts, four, six, eight, ten, up by twos each round. And then the bar over burpees are going up by one. So starting with two, and then going two, three, four, five. Again, take a look at this. You'll see all of your weights there. Weight changes are up to you. Um, they can be done at any time you'd like. So if you start working on that, th that first three minute AMRAP, your partner is working on seven, eight, or nine box jumps, something like that, and you decide, hey, we're not gonna get back to the deadlifts, we'll lower our weight now, go right ahead. You could also go full pit crew style during the 30 seconds. One partner takes one side, one partner takes the other. Make sure you have your weights correct. Again, they are on that sheet. Print that sheet up, have it with you, write it on a whiteboard, know what weights you need to be hitting for what. That's your job, all right? That is workout number one. Number one, uh, battle of the sexes. Nick is gonna show all of the barbell reps with just a 95 pound bar. Understand that the weights for everybody are gonna be different. Go to the sheet, uh, go to the online workout description, know what weights you have to hit. On a deadlift, bar starts on the ground, bar ends fully lifted off the ground, shoulders are behind the bar. You don't have to overextend, just get your shoulders behind the bar. Bar comes down, touches the ground, bar is stood all the way back up. That is a good deadlift rep. Um, on the box jumps, feet start on the ground, feet end on the box, standing all the way up. We actually don't care how you get onto the box. If you want to step up onto the box, that is fine. If you want to use your hands on your knees to step up onto the box, that is fine. As long as both feet start on the ground and both feet end on the box with you standing all the way up, that is a good rep. Snatches. Snatches are going to start from the ground and end locked out overhead. Nick just did a muscle snatch. That is acceptable. He could do a, that's just a power snatch. Acceptable. He, can do a full snatch. That is acceptable. If, as long as he takes the bar from the ground, he could even stop in the hang position. Again, bar starts on the ground, ends up completely overhead. A bad rep would be something where he does not get all the way extended before dropping the bar. So those are not good reps. Clean and jerks. Clean and jerks, bar starts on the ground. It's gonna come through the front rack and end up locked out overhead. If he has to do full cleans, that is okay. We don't see any of you probably doing that. But again, power clean and jerk is all we're looking for. If you do a split jerk, just make sure your feet get back underneath you. Much like the snatch, if the bar starts on the ground, and you pause in the hang, that is completely okay. You pick that bar up on your own power, got to the front rack, and then it ends up overhead. Thrusters. Thrusters, you can start with a squat clean if you wish. 
pass through a squat all the way up overhead. If you decide not to start with a front, with a, uh, I'm sorry, if you decide not to start with a clean, you can power clean it and then go into your front squat and do your reps. For the bar over burpees, we are looking for lateral bar over the burpees. So you can keep it just like that if you want. So Nick drops to the ground, comes to his feet, and gets over the bar. That's all we're looking for. If he wants to step over the bar, that's okay. All we want is you to get from one side of the bar to the other. We don't care how that happens. Drop to the ground, come to your feet, get over the bar. The fastest way to do these burpees is gonna to be to jump, but if you wanna step over them, that is completely okay. That are, those are the workout standards for workout number, number two. One for workout number one. In the video, you can clearly see the clock, the box, and the barbell. The barbell is loaded with 205. We can clearly see the 25 pound plates, the 45s on the end, and there are a set of 10s on the inside. Again, we need to see the amount of weight you're using for your respective division. For the box jumps, if you're using a traditional wood box, you'll be able to see the height. If anything other than a traditional wood box is used, we need to see that you have the correct height set up for your division. For all videos, we need to see, be able to clearly see all equipment, both partners, and the clock for the duration of the workout.
that song But I'm dead and won't be long Y'all gonna be dead and gone Y'all gonna be dead and gone
walked on If y'all don't have to sing that song A rotten day and a walk belong Y'all gonna be dead and gone Y'all gonna be dead and gone Y'all gonna be dead and gone. Y'all gonna be dead and gone.